Okay, so g'day, welcome back to Goomadi's Coins and Banknotes, and in today's video, talking about this is specifically about 2024 NADOC coins, but we're just going to have a quick look about 2024 coins issued for circulation. So, uh, we do have these ones in sets, uh, but we're just talking about the standard circulating coin, and we have a five cent coin, so this would. I don't know which one's going to be the first, so you should be able to find this one in circulation sooner or later. And Numerous that has, says that 33% of people who have this coin got it from circulation. That's the best statistics you're probably going to find about who owns these coins. Uh, but this one should be a fairly common coin. Uh, we have over 5 cent coins in sets, so... These ones will not be issued for circulation. 100,000 coins for that. Uh, Mary Gillick effigy. We've got the 10 cent coin. So these come out of the set that was issued a few months ago. So this set here. And these would all be standard circulating coins. Uh, now the mintages, or if they're going to issue them, I'm not too sure. But the bottom of this, they need to do something. Maybe I would say move Australia over to here, like in Queen Elizabeth and Charles over here. Leave a gap there and then just increase the effigy size. Simple way. Okay, so we've got 20 cent. We've got the commemorative coins as well. So we've got two of those. We've got these ones here. You've got silver. And. They don't have the NATO coin in here yet. I would say give it a week and they will. And then you've got the mob of ruse. So the 2023 is the first. So this is the first Charles III coin issue for circulation. And I've only got one, but there's 10 million of them apparently. So not a scarce coin. That seems to be normal circulating mintage for $1 coins. And we've got 2024. They're probably all out of sets. We've got a lot of other commemoratives. Then you've got the uh, the sports ones, which have the, uh, what is it, memorial commemorative coin. So this one has 1952, 2002, 22, should I say. Okay. So, yeah, I'm looking for the $2. So I've got over $1 coins, got the bluey. Got so many commemorative coins that you should. And then we've got, so the first one was AFL, this one's NRL, which don't seem to be important. What's the mintage that they have? Uh, doesn't have the mintage. I would say at least three, four hundred thousand. Uh, just so many coins. Okay, here we have the 2024 $2. So normal effigy. And horse hard. And the Ah, right, Dane Fawn. So it should be DT, Dane Fawn. On the, under the effigy. If it's missing, it's probably a die fill variety. So, well, there's nearly a million coins issued in sets already. So I reckon it's probably at least 10 to 20 million for circulation. $2 seems to be a high mint coin. Okay, so what we're looking at is this NADOC coin. So here is... Uh, AussieCoinsAndNotes.com, so they combine it with the, uh, the languages, so two Aboriginal themes and the colour one. It was 50,000 of these issued, so that's not a scarce coin, and they're sold out, $37 for both. Uh, Winyards, okay, yeah, got it, $20, so as you can see, the denominations on the other side. So they sold out for twenty dollars. That's the actual coin. It's actually quite nice. Then we have downies. They've also sold out. We have so this is the NADOC website. You can find information about the coins. So it's just got the meeting down there, and we got EQL ballot, which I didn't. I don't even bother about these anymore. Uh, you can. So try and contact the Mint Center. They might have some coins still. Uh, obviously, you have to contact them Monday to Friday. And 
no idea what that was. Oh my god, let me draw it. Hacky G. The Mint's contact center on 1300. Yeah, whatever. Didn't, can I do that? Translate. Oh, reading mode. Didn't even know I had that. This one. Um, this is Pink's Window 10. Okay, direct coins sold out as well. Loose change coins sold out. So these are all images from the Royal Australian Mint. So that's who copyrights these images. And if you go to eBay, you can see this is sold items. You can see these are selling for seventy dollars. So this is the latest pump and dump. Wow. On the fourth, one hundred thirty. So pretty much on the fourth, they're selling for about. Okay, I can't have um. Damn. Can't put in that age. Okay. And we have. So these ones came in bags. Okay, so here's the bag. So at the lineup in Adelaide or the coin exchange, they had these. It seems like you could get as many as you want. So people were trying to sell them for $65 to $100. But I would say wait until these come to uh, Ever State, so they should come to Melbourne, uh, Sydney, they should come to Brisbane and probably Perth. Uh, last time I went to one was in Bendigo, so they might come to the town centres as well, which I hope they will. So, uh, don't know what the mint issue is for that is. That's going to be uh, depending on how popular they are, but considering 2022, 50 cent coins is 22 million, it's a Quite a lot of demand still for those type of coins. But that was minted for 2023 and 2024 as well. So it's over a two-year period, so I'm not surprised that the mintage is higher in general. Okay, let's have a look at other ones. Yeah, $45, buy it now, sold. That was on the, the 5th. So it seems that on the 6th, 79, 79, okay, that one is yeah, just a normal circulating coin. So this is all a mixture. Even though I'll put NADOC, it does include just normal 2024. And these come out of our coin sets. So this one should be, yeah. So it's just a normal coin out of this coin set. Uh, whether it's going to be in circulation, I don't know. They might have filtered to now. But. Obviously, these are in REM bags. So these are the ones that have the coins at the moment. And if they're taken out, they're more than likely is that they've been removed from these sets, uh, coin bags. But this is the latest pump and dump. What do people think? This is why I don't buy REM products anymore. Basically, uh, they would have used a lot of bots and a lot of accounts just to get these coins. Because uh, most of them would have had a, oh, does this have a limit? Limit of two per household. Okay, limit of, it doesn't say. Okay, so most of these coin shops would have had a limit on how many of these coins you get. Yeah, two. Uh, this one, NADOC, Winyard usually has a limit on probably one or two. Okay, but this one doesn't say. Anyway, uh, yeah, two per household. So there is a limit. So they're obviously, they're still using bots or something like that because it's, it's just too much work to actually do it. On the day, you have to set it up at least a few hours before and and yeah that's basically it i'm wondering if the price is going to come down like the two dollar b coin i think it went up to like 100 bucks and now it's dropped down to at least 30 to 40 because it 100 thousand is just too many out there uh to get a the price that they want now a good price is probably issue price but as you can see these ones have only one or two million minted 
Uh, they still go for like three or four bucks in circulated condition, even uncirculated, four dollars. So long term, these the only ones are going to be worth really uh, a higher price than what you would have paid for is these commemorative ones that that are only issued in sets because they're a low mintage, but they're all uncirculated. And these circulated ones, even though the mintage is quite low, don't track the value because pretty much they're just too easy to get. Uh, so a lot of these in low grades, you're probably just better off spending. It's just not worth it. Like this one, 1970, lots of people kept them. And uh, it's only worth two bucks. Yeah, so even though it's a nice coin, uh, this one you're probably not going to be able to get for issue price anymore. I would say if you want that, you're probably going to just wait a few months, wait for the price to drop, because the price always drops on this pump and dump stuff. Uh, these coins here, probably just wait until either a coin swap comes around. Um, half the people in Australia, the coin swaps won't come to them because they're in uh, country towns or rural areas. Maybe you can have a daily journey to that place or ask someone. There are some people on Facebook or even friends that live that area to go and get you some. Or just wait until they come into circulation because uh, it looks like they will be, even though I haven't found any information, just, just a guess. But considering the coins that they issue in those bags, in these bags, they issue for circulation as well. Anyway, I'd say thank you very much. Hope this helps you for coin collecting and uh, take care out there. Thank you and goodbye.